In this video, we're here to provide guidance and support as we explore some of the common questions that arise during this difficult time. Breakups. They're a universal experience, yet one of the most challenging journeys we embark upon. In the wake of a breakup, we're often left with a whirlwind of emotions, questions, and uncertainties. One of the first questions that often arises after a breakup is, why did the relationship end? Understanding the reasons behind this breakup is crucial for healing and growth. When we take the time to reflect on why the relationship ended, we gain valuable insights into ourselves and our dynamics with our partner. Perhaps it was due to incompatible goals, communication breakdowns, or unresolved conflicts. Or maybe the relationship just ran its course and both parties grew in different directions. By examining these factors, we not only gain closure, but also learn valuable lessons that can guide us in future relationships. Take some time to reflect on your relationship. Write down your thoughts, feelings, and observations. You may discover patterns or insights that you didn't notice before. Understanding why the relationship ended is the first step towards healing and growth. Embrace this opportunity for self-discovery and trust that clarity and insight will come with time. Question 2. Was it my fault? It's natural to seek accountability and understand our role in the relationship's demise. Feelings of guilt and self-blame often accompany the end of a relationship. We may replay past events and interactions, scrutinizing our words and actions. But it's important to remember that relationships are a two-way street. While it's healthy to reflect on our behavior and take responsibility for our actions, it's equally important to recognize that relationships are complex and multifaceted. Relationships involve the interplay of individual personalities, communication styles, and external circumstances. Blaming oneself entirely for a breakup oversimplifies the situation and disregards the complexities involved. Instead of assigning blame, focus on learning from the experience. Ask yourself, what could you have done differently and how can you grow from the challenges you faced? It takes two people to nurture a relationship, and both parties play a role in its outcome. Be gentle with yourself, practice self-compassion, and allow yourself to heal. Question 3. Did I make the right decision? The aftermath of a breakup can be tumultuous, filled with conflicting emotions and second-guessing. We may find ourselves oscillating between feelings of relief and regret. It's natural to wonder if we could have done more to salvage the relationship or if ending it was a hasty decision. We may fear that we've made a mistake and question if we'll ever find closure. However, it's important to recognize that decisions made in moments of emotional distress are often clouded by heightened emotions and limited perspective. Hindsight, while valuable, isn't always accurate. Instead of dwelling on whether the decision was right or wrong, focus on the reasons behind it. Ask yourself what led you to that choice and whether it was based on your values, needs, and well-being. Ultimately, trust yourself and your intuition. You made the best decision you could with the information and emotions you had at the time. Question 4. Will I ever find love again? In the midst of heartache, it's natural to wonder if we'll ever be able to open our hearts to love once more. Breakups often leave us feeling vulnerable and uncertain about our future. We may fear that our chance at love has slipped away or that we'll never find someone who understands and cherishes us. But it's important to remember that love is resilient and boundless. Just because one relationship ended doesn't mean we're destined to be alone. Healing takes time and it's essential to give ourselves the space to heal and grow before opening our hearts to someone new. In the meantime, focus on nurturing the relationship you have with yourself. Believe in the power of love to find its way back into your life. Stay open to new experiences, embrace opportunities for connection, and trust that the right person will come into your life when the time is right. Question 5. How do I move on? Moving on after a breakup can feel like an overwhelming and daunting task yet it's a vital step towards healing and embracing new beginnings. The journey of moving on begins with acknowledging and accepting the reality of the breakup. It's essential to allow ourselves to grieve the loss and process the associated emotions. Give yourself permission to feel sadness, anger, and even relief. Lean on your support network, whether it's friends, family, or a therapist for comfort and guidance during this difficult time. As you navigate the journey of moving on, focus on self-care and rediscovering your sense of self. Engage in activities that bring you joy and fulfillment, whether it's pursuing hobbies, practicing mindfulness, or simply spending time in nature. Set healthy boundaries with your ex-partner and minimize contact if necessary to aid in the healing process. Remember that closure doesn't always come from external sources, but from within. 
Above all, be patient and compassionate with yourself. Moving on is a gradual process, and there's no timeline for healing. Trust that with time, you'll emerge stronger, wiser, and ready to embrace the possibilities that lie ahead. Question 6. Should I stay in contact with my ex? Navigating post-breakup communication with an ex-partner can be a challenging and emotionally fraught decision. There's no one-size-fits-all answer to this question, as every situation is unique. It's essential to consider your own emotional well-being and whether maintaining contact with your ex serves your healing process well. While staying in touch with your ex can provide a sense of familiarity and comfort, it can also prolong the healing process and hinder emotional closure. It's crucial to assess whether continued contact is helping or hindering your ability to move forward. Consider setting boundaries and establishing clear communication guidelines with your ex-partner. If maintaining contact feels too painful or disruptive, it may be best to take a break and focus on your own healing journey. Ultimately, prioritize your own emotional health and well-being above all else. Trust your instincts and do what feels right for you, even if it means temporarily cutting off contact with your ex. Question 7. What did I learn from this relationship? Every relationship, whether it ends in heartbreak or not, offers valuable lessons and insights that shape our personal growth and understanding of ourselves and others. Taking the time to reflect on the dynamics of the relationship can provide invaluable insights into our own behaviors, needs, and desires as well as those of our partner. Perhaps you learned the importance of effective communication, the value of compromise, or significance of setting boundaries. Maybe you discovered your strengths and weaknesses in relationships or gained clarity on your values and priorities. No matter the specifics, each lesson contributes to your growth and evolution as an individual. Embrace these insights with gratitude and use them to inform your future relationships and personal development. As you continue your journey of self-discovery, remember to be gentle with yourself and celebrate the growth and wisdom gained from your past experience. Each relationship, no matter its outcome, has the power to shape and enrich our lives in profound ways. Embrace the lessons learned, cherish the memories shared, and trust that each experience, no matter how challenging, has helped shape you into the resilient and compassionate individual you are today. Question 8. How do I rebuild my life? After a breakup, rebuilding your life may seem like a daunting task, but it's also an opportunity for growth, self-discovery, and creating the life you envision. Rebuilding your life starts with rediscovering who you are outside of the relationship. Take this time to reconnect with your passions, interests, and goals. Set new goals for yourself, whether they're personal, professional, or spiritual. Focus on activities and pursuits that bring you joy and fulfillment, and don't be afraid to step outside of your comfort zone. Surround yourself with supportive friends and family who uplift and encourage you on your journey. Seek out new experiences and connections that nourish your soul and expand your horizons. Embrace change as an opportunity for growth and transformation. Let go of the past and trust in your ability to create a bright and fulfilling future for yourself. Question 9. Will I ever trust again? One of the most challenging aspects of healing from a breakup is rebuilding trust, both in oneself and in others. After experiencing the pain of betrayal or heartbreak, it's natural to feel guarded and hesitant to open up to others. Trust once broken can take time to repair and rebuild. But it's important to remember that trust is not all or nothing. It's a gradual process that unfolds over time, influenced by our experiences and interactions with others. Start by rebuilding trust in yourself. Honor your instincts and boundaries, and practice self-compassion as you navigate the complexities of relationships. Be open to the possibility of trust, but also recognize the importance of discernment and healthy boundaries. Surround yourself with individuals who demonstrate integrity, respect, and consistency in their words and actions. Trust is a choice, a choice to believe in the inherent goodness of others and to remain open to the possibilities of connection and love. As you continue your journey of healing and growth, trust that with time and self-care, you will once again find the courage to trust and be trusted. Question 10. Am I ready to start dating again? The prospect of re-entering the dating scene can evoke a range of emotions, from excitement to apprehension. Determining if you're ready to start dating again requires honest self-reflection and introspection. It's essential to assess your emotional readiness as well as your intentions and expectations for entering into a new relationship. 
Consider whether you've had sufficient time to heal from the breakup and process your emotions. Are you able to approach dating with an open heart and a willingness to embrace vulnerability? Reflect on your goals and priorities in life and how they align with the prospect of dating. Are you seeking companionship, connection, or simply exploring new experiences? Be mindful of any lingering emotional baggage or unresolved issues from past relationships that may impact your ability to fully engage in a new relationship. Take the time to address these concerns before embarking on a new romantic journey. Ultimately, only you can determine if you're ready to start dating again. Trust your instincts and honor your feelings, knowing that it's okay to take things at your own pace. When the time feels right, you'll know. Question 11. How do I deal with loneliness? Loneliness can be one of the most challenging aspects of navigating life after a breakup. Feeling lonely after a breakup is a natural response to the loss of companionship and connection. It's important to acknowledge and validate these feelings without judgment. Start by reaching out to supportive friends and family members who can offer companionship and understanding during this difficult time. Social connections are essential for combating loneliness and fostering a sense of belonging. Engage in activities that bring you joy and fulfillment, whether it's pursuing hobbies, exploring nature, or practicing mindfulness. Investing in self-care can help alleviate feelings of loneliness and boost your overall well-being. Consider volunteering or joining social groups or clubs where you can meet like-minded individuals and cultivate new connections. Building a support network can provide a sense of camaraderie and belonging. Above all, be patient and compassionate with yourself as you navigate feelings of loneliness. Remember that it's okay to seek professional support if you're struggling to cope. You're not alone, and there are people who care about you and want to help. Question 12. What if I never get closure? Closure, a sense of finality and resolution, is often sought after a breakup, yet it's not always easily attained. The quest for closure can be a challenging and elusive pursuit, especially when faced with unanswered questions and lingering feelings of unfinished business. It's important to acknowledge that closure may not always come in the form we expect or desire. Sometimes, closure is found within ourselves through acceptance and letting go. Instead of waiting for external validation or closure from others, focus on finding closure within yourself. Reflect on the lessons learned from the relationship and the growth you've experienced as a result. Practice forgiveness, not only for yourself, but others, and release any lingering resentments or attachments that hold you back from moving forward. Embrace the freedom that comes from letting go. Question 13. What role did I play in the relationship dynamics? Understanding our role in the dynamics of a relationship is a crucial step towards personal growth and self-discovery. Every relationship is a dynamic interplay of personalities, communication styles, and individual needs. Taking the time to reflect on our role in the relationship can provide valuable insights into patterns and behaviors. Consider your communication style, your responses to conflict, and your ability to express your needs and boundaries. Reflect on how your actions and behaviors may have influenced the dynamics of the relationship. Be honest with yourself about areas where you may have contributed to challenges or conflicts within the relationship. Recognize that self-awareness is the first step towards positive change. Use this insight as an opportunity for growth and self-improvement. Identify areas where you can work on communication, boundaries, and emotional intelligence to foster healthier relationships in the future. Taking responsibility for our role in relationship dynamics is a sign of maturity and growth. Question 14. How do I handle shared connections and memories? Shared connections and memories are intertwined with the fabric of a relationship, and navigating them after a breakup can be a delicate balancing act. Shared connections, whether they're mutual friends, social circles, or shared spaces, can evoke a range of emotions after a breakup. It's essential to approach these connections with sensitivity and grace. Start by setting boundaries and establishing clear communication with shared connections. Express your needs and preferences regarding interactions and avoid putting yourself in situations that may trigger painful memories. When it comes to cherished memories, it's natural to feel a sense of nostalgia and longing. Allow yourself to acknowledge and honor these memories while also recognizing that they are part of your past. Focus on creating new experiences and forging new connections that are separate from those shared with your ex-partner. Cultivate your own identity and interests, independent of the relationship. Question 15. Will I ever stop feeling this way? The aftermath of a breakup can be a tumultuous and emotional journey, filled with uncertainty and longing. 
The depth of the emotions experienced after a breakup can feel overwhelming and endless, leading to doubts about whether the pain will ever subside. It's important to acknowledge that healing takes time and that the process is unique for each individual. While the pain may feel overwhelming now, it is not permanent. With time, patience, and self-love, you will emerge from this experience stronger, wiser, and ready to embrace the possibilities that lie ahead. Please like this video and subscribe for more content on personal development and success. The journey of healing from a breakup is often filled with twists and turns, highs and lows, but it's also a journey of self-discovery, growth, and resilience. Throughout the video, we've explored the many questions and emotions that arise in the aftermath of a breakup. We've delved into the complexities of closure, the challenges of navigating shared connections, and the uncertainties of moving forward. But amidst the pain and heartache, there is hope. Hope for healing, hope for growth, and hope for a brighter future filled with love, connection, and possibility. You are not alone. Reach out to your support network, practice self-compassion, and trust in your resilience to carry you through this challenging time. Become you.